Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we have an unboxing of Shadows of Killforth. Now this is the follow-up to Gloom of Killforth, which I have not played, but I'm very excited to get into this. It's a one to four player cooperative game. Tons and tons of cards in this game, beautiful artwork. So we're gonna get into Shadows of Killforth in just a minute. Before we do, I wanna mention our sponsor, Board Game Co. This is a fantastic website where you can buy, sell, and trade games. They have a great selection of games for you to choose from if you're looking to buy more games just fill out your your stock you know you're looking to just build out your collection um and then if you look or if you're looking to get rid of your collection though they will take games off your hands they have a very easy system to use over there uh you go over to the website you can see real quickly how their value system works and they'll buy games directly from you and then of course they'll trade games with you and the way this works is if you have a board game geek account and you've set up a trade list the you know the game you want in trade the games you have for trade well then you go to board game co you type in your username for board game geek click on the set up a trade button or, or whatever the button says over there and then they'll build a trade list by comparing your want list and your uh, for trade list with their stock and they build a trade list right there on their website make it very very easy for you to then click okay i want to trade these games and i want to get these games and you submit the trade and they approve it and boom you've got yourself a trade super easy so go over to board game Co. check them out click on the link in the description below so they know i sent you over there board game Co. makes it easy to buy sell and trade your way into a better collection okay let's get down to the game topper and we're going to open up shadows of killforth all right here we go uh shadows of killforth a fantasy quest game by tristan hall uh let's see one to four players, ages 14 plus, 45 minutes per player. And you can see all this stuff in here, so we're not going to get into all of that. Far along the eastern frontiers of Killforth, the malignant gloom has returned. The ancients lurk in the shadows, conducting their terrible affairs once more. Now terrifying and pernicious creatures emerge from beyond the veil. But as new threats arise, new heroes gather their arms and their wits to meet them. From the frail safety of the ancient shrine of Mon Monashoba, maybe? A small band of heroes ventures forth. Time is fleeting, the enemy numberless, and the ancients voracious. Through the descending gloom against all odds, the heroes must prove themselves worthy, lest their sagas fade into legend. All right, let's get in here. All right, what do we have? We've got Gloom of Killforth, which of course, as I said at the top, is the uh, original version uh, or, or the the first game in the series, in the Killforth series. Shadows comes after Gloom. Uh, we've got Life Form in the vast Forbidden Seas of Space, Terrorsters. Actually, I don't know if I've even heard of that one. I'll have to check that out. That looks pretty cool. Shadows of Killforth, 1565 St. Elmo's Pay. That's on my wish list. 1066, Tears to Many Mothers. And then, let me check that one out too. And then Sublime Dark. This I'm very interested in. Uh, it was supposed to be kickstarting in 2020. It's going to be hopefully kickstarting this year in 2021. And... Uh, you can see 18, ages 18 plus. I'm imagining, I'm imagining, and again, I, there's very little information out there about this, that we're looking at something with a similar, uh, in terms of tone, a similar game to Kingdom Death Monster. So super interested. Of course, anybody who watches my channel knows that I'm all about Kingdom Death. I've got a ton of videos uh, for it on my channel, so be sure to check that out. Shadows of Kill for it. So let's look at this rule book here. All right, so we've got... Uh, uh, description of tokens here, but here the setup starts on page four. All right, we're going through uh, a lot. I like nice some nice spacing here, so it's not like crunched together like you know some super dense rule books can be. It looks like it's got. I mean, very clearly laying out these cards and everything, so that's a good a good sign. Look at the artwork in this game, but we're going through. Let's see. Additional rules, night phase. All 
rules reference. So I'm thinking like right here probably is the primary end of the rules because here we got rules reference over here. So pages four to 22 is what we're looking at for rules. Additional terminology, definitions, summaries, okay. Oh, and an index. That's fantastic. Uh, anybody that's played ether fields, the index for the ether fields is critical. It really is because that rule book is a little kind of all over the place, but indexes when done properly really, really uh, help. I mean, it basically becomes a, um, a searchable PDF except for, you know, uh, in your hand. So I really love that. All right. So we've got, here we go. These things punching out nice and easy. No hangups or anything like that. All right, so you can see all that. We've got some map tokens here, first player or first hero. All right. We've got here a buckler, straw hat, chopsticks, boots, blessing, hemp rope, all kinds of cool stuff, spyglass, blanket. Got some gold here. Curious what those are. Punch all that out later. Shadows of Killforth variants. Gloom of Killforth veteran heroes. Knight tokens variant. Reward tokens variant. Combining Killforth games, difficulty settings, variants, and game length options. And here are uh, reference guide. Yeah, I am a huge fan of reference guides. You'd be amazed at how many games don't include them for some reason, but these really, really help so much when playing a, a rules heavy game. Oops, all right. So we've got some dice here. I like the, I just, they've got like a marble design on them, like that, okay. Looks like we've got some plastic stands, we've got a, a bag, I wonder if that's just for storage or if we're going to have a gameplay element there. And in here we have all kinds of tokens. Oh look, extra bags for organization, huge plus. I'm glad to see more and more these days, I'm seeing games come with these instead of you having to provide your own. Really like that a lot. So there's some wooden tokens here. Okay. So we've got, it's a yellow. We've got, looks like maybe time tokens, hourglass here, purple. Some more of these yellow tokens. Got these red, I'm sure that's health or something along those lines. Oh, and then we've got some black hearts. Well, hold on. Let's see the difference between the red and the black hearts. That's, I'm interested to know that right away. Let's figure that out. Action points and health points. Okay, and then the hourglass is fate. Oh, gold are the yellow tokens there. And then hidden and obstacle tokens. Okay. All right, now we're not going to go into all these cards because, I mean, there's a whole bunch of them here. But let's let's get into one of these just to look at the oh these. I wonder, those look like they might be dividers, okay, for organization purposes. But let's get into one of these just to look at the artwork in this game because that is definitely one of the selling points for this game. Okay, okay, so let's see. We've got. So all of these, the, is that the couch of death? The Orea Crags, Frost Bridge. These must be all locations. Heaven's Gate, Monashoba Shrine, Frozen Portal, Sea of Clouds. 
Serene Lake. Spider Grove, that doesn't sound good. Fool's Den. Divine Heights and Celestial Tree. Then we've got maybe some treasure cards here. Or, I'm sorry, item cards. Katana. I mean, look at this artwork, y'all. This is, this is just fantastic. Oh, Yoroi. Tabi. Esteemed Turban. Uh, Wakizashi. Oh, man, I know I'm butchering some of this. Uh, oh, Nunchaku. Nice. Nunchucks. Like that. Jingasa. Tobacco Pipe. Ah. Do Maru. Fur Gloves. Black Scale Poison. Ominous. And then we've got some allies here. Engineer. Enchanter. Trickster. Militiaman. Dancer. Scientist. Lantern Bearer. Warlord. Dark Hand Assassin. Footpad. Uh, you know what? Let's go. Let's open one more. I just want to see some more of this. All right. So we've got a few more locations here. The Imperial Forest. Aerial Ruins. Desolate City. What is this? I'm not sure what we've got here. Ancient Weakness, Ancestors, The Cur... Look at that. That's nuts. The Curse, True Heir, Redemption, Drink of the Gods, Seraph Child, Unlikely Allies. See, and then on the back, there's something entirely different. Final Haunt, True Identity. Whoa, look at that guy. Man, okay. What else do we have here? So these are forest cards. And in the forest, we've got Druid... Grave Raider, Phantom, Ferocious Bear, look out for the Cave Bear, Twilight Memorial, Bathhouse, Drowned Temple, Assassination, Shopkeeper, hey, I always like a shopkeeper, and we've got some mountain cards here, Messenger, Skeleton, look at that skeleton, that's cool, whoa, Kappa Vampire, hmm. Wraith, Phoenix, Ogre Brute, Painting Contest, Secret Door, Sliding Mosaic, Man-Eating Tiger. Uh, that's not the kind of tiger I want to run into. But yeah, that is, you can see you got a few more decks here, but that's everything that comes with Shadows of Killforth. So there you go. That's Shadows of Killforth. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Go check out my other channel, Video Game Relapse, where we are uh, doing all kinds of great video game videos. And of course, we also have a giveaway going on right now. Click on this link and you can enter to win six games. One winner is getting all six games. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, like I said. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.